Right, you? All good in the hood. How was the panel? Fun. Yeah. yeah. I always get distracted in the panel. I just look at the monitors and I'm like, oh wait, look up. Like, stop. <laughs> stop being vain. <laughs> you didn't see the panel, but what were you, what were you most excited for fans to see that was revealed? Um, the return of Leonard Snart. The return of Captain Cole. That's going to be awesome. Um, what else? The Time Bureau. We have a new kind of uh, competition in, in, in the Time Bureau with this, uh, this team who are very organized, very skilled, professional, and, and they're kind of fixing time. And the legends are saying, we're like, hold on, this is our job. We messed it up, so <laughs> God damn it, we're going to fix it. So, they have a little bit of a rivalry with them, which is going to be really interesting to see how our, how our team interacts with another team who are a bit better than them and stick around. And does Rip have something to do with that other team? Does Rip have something to do with that other Possibly. He might do. <laughs> where's, uh, where's Jack Stone? He's a character, as a person. Where is he going in season three? That's um, well, where we start off, in season three, we start off with a bit of a, uh, a role reversal between Jax and Stan. Especially from, from season one. From season one to now, you had Jax who was a bit more uh, on the fence about kind of being a time traveling superhero. But now, with the introduction of Lily Stein and Stein's time aberration and daughter, that kind of changes, changes the balance a bit. And it's now Jax who's like, dude, we still have a job to do here. Right? We still need to be fine. So, so that's that's going to be a little interesting kind of dynamic that we have to kind of work out between them. It's like, is this what they really want? Is that what they're going to do? Stein and, oh, Stein and Jax's relationship, you know, sometimes it feels like it's like they're father's son and then sometimes they're arguing like an old married couple, you know, uh, what is that relationship to play? What's that like for you? Um, so much fun. So much fun. I mean, like, any time that it's just me and Victor in the scene, I'm like, I love it. I mean, I love working with everyone, but me and Victor, we get on so well. We just, like, from day one, from, the, from, from like, the moment that, that, like, I tested for the show, we just had, like, this instant, instant chemistry and just, just became, like, really good friends. So, shooting scenes with Victor is super easy. It's just effortless. It's just natural. So, it's a lot of fun. Everybody keeps saying that this, this season is even funnier than last season, but it sounds like Jax is a little more serious than he was last year. Are you, are you like being, like, how, how do those two things balance out? Um, yeah, I feel like Jax, Jax has been growing, he's been steadily growing throughout, throughout, the, throughout the show, the rest of the show. Um, but this is definitely way more funny. You know, we got, it's even zanier and crazier than, than last season. I feel like we, we kind of, as a show, season one kind of had our, we were kind of teething and kind of feeling, feeling everything out. Season two, we kind of found, okay, this is our little, this is our wheelhouse here. This is where we sit. And um, season three, we're just going to kind of continue that kind of fun, sort of light, light-hearted, uh, taking, taking the piss out of ourselves a little bit. Because as characters, the team know that they're a bunch of screw-ups. They know this. They know that they get things wrong and, and mess up time here, there, and everywhere. So, so we're kind of just kind of having a little bit more fun with, with that kind of idea. How do you actually the physical aspect of this for you? Do you enjoy, I don't know how, it's a very physical show. Is that yeah. something you enjoy about it? Yeah, I, I love doing, doing, like, I try and do as many of the stunts as I can. I mean, I'm not, I'm not Katie Lotz, who's like G.I. Jane, like in real life. Um, but, um, but yeah, I, I do as much as I can. I used to be in the circus when I was younger, so I'm always just like, yeah, I want to do some stuff. So, yeah. So does that mean that Jack, I mean, with your circus pass, there's a circus element to the season premiere, right? There is indeed. Um, how does Jack take to that? Um, do they use any of your talents? Uh, they do a little bit. I'm not going to say exactly how, um, but, um, but yeah, it, it was a fun episode. Very fun episode. What did you do in the uh, I used to do flying trapeze, 
tightrope walking, juggling, acrobatics. I could do a little bit, not that much no more. This is, uh, this is age. Yeah. And then you talked about some of the action you're allowed to do, but that you're not allowed to do. What, what's been the most exciting yeah, thing? Um, I always like when I get to fight because uh, for Firestorm, he doesn't really do that much. Like, he's always blasting people. Why would you punch someone when you can just shoot them with a nuclear bomb? Blast, right? Um, so anytime we get to do that, it's super fun. And, um, yeah, why work? We did a fair bit of work in the first, first season, which was super fun. So, yeah.